you doing today? This is a review of a backpacking camp stove by Central Oregon Survival Network. This is a jet boil. Uh, go over it really quickly. It's an excellent backpacking stove. If you're looking for a good backpacking stove, this is an excellent item. Uh, I didn't pick it up too long ago. I had it for a little bit. Been on a couple uh, backpacking trips with me. Works really well. I'm going to go over it. Like I said, on the bottom here, you can tell <clears throat> this has got a heat coil. Helps it warm up. It does get fast what uh, or gets hot very fast. Uh, I say boil water in about five minutes. It's pretty quick, depending on your wind. This on the bottom is actually a measuring cup. You can go up to a half, full cup, quarter cup, which is nice to have just in case if you want it for soups, um, coffee, hot chocolate, that sort of thing. It goes right here on the bottom. Nice and perfect. So you go ahead and pull that off. Now inside this, this actually has a wrap. You can leave this wrap on while you're cooking. This will uh, actually keep your liquid hot for longer. Works really well and you just leave it right on. It actually has a um, nice little grip on the outside. Works really well. I used it a couple times. It has a nice rubber top on it with a drink hole. So you can put your coffee, hot chocolate like I said, or even if you're using like beef bouillon cubes to make soup. In here is all your stuff that you need to make and to make this work. You've got, like I said, your first part. This is where you actually set, I'll show you how to set this up. This is where you set your cup, you got your heating element, you got your gas. And also, what I like about it too, it comes with a tripod for your gas element. I always, myself, worry about tipping stuff over when I'm dealing with butane. This is actually a butane stove. Works really well. Click that on there. Pull your cap off. Put this is uh, your on off right here. This actually turns your stove on and off nice and easy. Flips right out. Screw down your heating element. It's on just like that. Take this. Each one of these legs fold out. Once they're folded out, go ahead and set it on. It actually locks into place. Turn it until it gets locked. There you go. There's your heating element. Just that easy. Okay. Now on this, you can actually, they put a striker on this and they've upgraded it from the later versions that wasn't so good. This one actually works pretty good. Fires right up. Hang on what you want. And this is a burner. Let me tell you, this thing gets hot. Very, very hot. Very quickly. I'm going to turn that off so I don't waste my gas. This goes right on top. And like I said, in under five minutes, you're going to have some boiling water. In here, you can go two cups. Is there they, what they call maximum? I, you know, you can go a little over that. Two cups is probably right about here or so. And, you know, they do it for safety reasons, boil overs, that sort of thing. Um, you know, I usually do two cups for coffee, stuff like that. And if I need more, I'll just put it back on, heat some up. But you can go a little over if you want. Uh, works excellent. Very light for backpacking and you can get hot liquids quickly, which sometimes is a necessity out there when you're backpacking in cold climates or cold weather. This folds up nicely, nice and easy. You just go ahead and, like I said, spin the heating element off. Done deal. Now on this, pro on this butane, uh, it go up to about roughly 10 boils to 12 boils, just depends on, like I said, your environment, the wind's blowing, it's going to be a little, uh, you're going to use a little more gas when you're doing it, but, you know, 10 to 12 boils on one of these little guys, that's, that's good for a backpacking trip. If you need more than that, you know, you might want to look at uh, a different type of stove. Of course, you can bring two of these, then you get a whole lot. And one of the really main use, reasons for using this, because I like uh, using a fire a lot of times, is you know you get the fire restrictions out there and you can't use an open flame this thing works perfect for your coffee in the morning or anything that you might need you know oatmeal things like that works really really well i really like this it's a good setup it runs about for this setup is uh 99 i know it's a little expensive but let me tell you you won't regret it it is actually coated it's uh quick it's a good way it's super super light Easy, easy for backpacking. Uh, get it out there and use it. it. It's amazing. It really is. It's a great, great piece. Then your, your fuel goes in. 
Everything is contained right here. This is all you need. Just like that. Put your cap back on. Put your bottom piece back on. Done deal. That's as fast, nice and fast, easy. Get out there if you need liquids in a hurry. Like I said, in a cold climate, this is the way to go. It really is. It works well. It uh, has a lot of capabilities to it. And I highly recommend it. You know, sometimes, you know, you can, you can spend, a lot of people gripe about, well, yeah, this stuff's expensive. Well, yeah, you know what? It is expensive, and there's a reason why it's expensive, because it's good quality stuff. And it'll last you a long time if you take care of it, and it works really well. That's my review of the Jet Boil. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and just write me from Central Oregon Survival Network.